All right, we're going to go thumbs up, thumbs down for your group. You're just going to tell me whether you guys said it was true or false. We're not going to go over the answers right now. We're going to redo this again at the end of the period after we've had some discussion. Um, so the first one, the more sides a polygon has, the larger the sum of the interior angles. Thumbs up if it's true, thumbs down if it's false. What did your group say? Actually, take that back. You guys wrote them on the whiteboards so that we wouldn't have to do this. It would be a lot easier. So just hold up your whiteboards. We got true, true, false, true, true, false. All right, so we got, oops. Five trues, one false. All right, for number two, we've got one, two, three, four. All right, we got two and four. Uh, pentagons with the same perimeter will have the same area. Everybody agreed on that one. Awesome. All right, we'll talk about all of those. Uh, anybody want to give an argument for any of these two that we disagreed on? The larger the number of sides of a polygon, the larger the interior angles. This guy, you guys remember making this guy on Friday? Cool, and I'll get you guys a copy. Uh, yeah, all right, that's a pretty good argument. How do you know? Okay. I may, I would probably get rid of the, the 270 degree and just get the crowd. Now I can give you two exterior angles. You can measure exterior angles, this vertex, and this vertex, and this vertex, and this vertex. And this vertex. So one more line, and you'll have an exterior angle. Got all these, uh, these extensions of your sides. Mm -hmm. The exterior angle is the measure from the side to the extension of the side. So it's this angle in here, not the full way around. So I would, I would erase those um, six angles that we've got, and then when when you're measuring. You want to measure the angle between this line and this line. 138. Can you get bigger than 138 for the area? The goal is to get it as large as possible. No, you can't. You can't move the points further away I got you. to expect for the perimeter, perimeter to be 60. Oh, I know what you mean now. I know what you mean now. Trying to get it. That's pretty close to 60, but my area is now 203. I know what you mean. So I moved the point and kept the perimeter about the same. 
but the area is bigger now. So your sum changed when you move these points, the interior angles? What different numbers did you get when you changed them around? So those are the angles. I'm asking, did the sum change when you add them all up? So the, uh, what I'm saying is the individual angles change, but did their total change? Mm 